Dinner Lady here again, so it's my turn to cook again today. So I'm going to do a simple recipe. Um, it is one of my favourites. It's one of my children's favourites and I know Ian loves them as well. So what we're going to be doing is a fish finger sandwich. But I am going to be making my own bread and the old fish fingers. So I'll bring you down and show you the ingredients that I've got. Right, so for the bread, we do have some strong white bread flour, about 500 grams of that. I've got 300 grams, uh, sorry, 300 mils of just lukewarm water. I've got some um, easy bake yeast, just the dried stuff that you get. I forgot to get a teaspoon of sugar, which goes into there to feed the yeast. Um, and some salt and in, into that. So for the fish finger sandwich, I've got this fish. I've had it in the freezer, it's all defrosted overnight. So um, that's the fish we're gonna use. So for the covering on there, I'm going to use obviously breadcrumbs. In the breadcrumbs, uh, sorry, a bit of flour, egg and breadcrumbs. In the breadcrumbs, I do like to have a little bit of parmesan. Just gives it a little bit um, like umami taste. And I do like a little pinch of smoked paprika as well, just for the covering and some salt and pepper. And of course, you cannot have a fish finger sandwich without ketchup. So we'll get on starting the bread. Right, so I've just put a teaspoon of sugar in this water. Like I say, that just feeds the yeast. We'll get the yeast put in there now. There we go. Nothing nicer than a nice crusty loaf. And I know people will be thinking, oh no, for fish finger sandwich, it's got to be white plastic bread. But for me, a nice crusty bread. Homemade, still warm, you cannot beat it. So I'm just going to put that to one side, just let that bloom for a little bit there. And I'm going to weigh out my flour. I do have a little bag of oats. Honestly, a little bag of open flour. So I'm just going to use that first. Like I say, I want 500 grams. not 500 grams in that so I'll just put it empty that straight in that was 194 don't you just heat flour bags and sugar bags as well actually the same should get a big tub to put it in but I just haven't got the room to keep a tub I made a right hash of that. There we go. Right, just make that up to 500. Just a tad over 502 grams and I'm not going to take it back out for that. So in there we want a bit of salt. For the sake to keep the salt and the yeast apart, um, if you are using fresh yeast the salt would kill it. If you're using dried yeast then the salt would just slow down the, the process of the of the blooming. So that's all done then. Now I'm just gonna wait another couple of minutes um, for the yeast. It's starting to bloom there now if you can see. It's starting to come up a little bit there now. Just gonna give it a little while longer just to make sure that it's still alive. Right, so while we're waiting for the yeast to bloom, I'm just getting the fish out and putting them in this bowl. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna salt the fish. Sometimes with fish from um, the supermarkets, they have got quite a bit of water in and they're sitting in water as well. So you do find that there's quite a lot of water comes out when you cook them. But I'm just going to salt it and leave it for about, I'd say about half an hour. Um, and that will draw out the excess moisture. Then we'll just dry it, uh, rinse it and dry it. And then you'll have lovely firm fish. Right, so I'm just going to put that to one side for now. Bring this guy in. Right. 
it's looking all right for my yeast. So I'm just going to dump it straight in and then slowly let that come together. Once it's together, I'm just going to let it knead for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back to you. Right, so that's had 10 minutes. So oh, I pushed it back too early. Just uh, lift that up, lift that out. Well for now. Right, so I'm going to let it prove in here, but I just want. Oh, there you see that. So I just want to tighten it up a little bit. So just, this is what you would do if you're kneading it by hand. Just put it round like this. But that just tightens it up. Look, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the bottom of here just to stop it from sticking while it's rising i'm going to put it that side down just to roll it in roll it around there we go now that'll go in to the oven with just the light on to let it prove for an hour and then we'll come down we'll shape it put it in my loaf tin and then let it prove again so we'll see you in about an hour guys Hey guys, so that's had an hour um, proving in the oven. So what I'm going to do now is, is I've got my tin already there. So I'm just going to clean hands and that will just come straight out with it having that oil in there. So what we'll do is we don't need any flour or anything on here. I'm going to give it another couple of turns. And then what we'll do is we'll spread it out, just knock the air out there and then all we do is we'll roll it up like that and the underside just push it together turn it over and then we'll pop it into our pan now that, just quickly wash my hands. That'll go back into the oven. And we'll prove for about another hour or so. Depends what time I finish work. So that'll just go back over there like that. And then into back into the oven. Make sure that your tea towel's not stuck underneath because that'll stop it from rising and I'll just clear up here and we'll see you again in about another hour. Oh, and I've rinsed the fish off with that salt as well and that's just ready to be done. Right, so this has had its second proof. Now look at that little baby there. Looks wonderful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it into the oven. I've got it up to temperature of about um, 180. I'm going to get it into the oven. It'll probably take about 40 to 45 minutes. But then we'll have a look at it. I'm not going to do the fish fingers just yet because they do need to be done and then uh, cooked straight away. And I'm not sure what time Ian's due in today. So what I'll do is, like I say, I'll get this in the oven and get this started. Right, guys. So the bread's in the oven. Oh, it smells amazing. It's been ages since I've made bread. But I'm just going to do these fish fingers. So I want pretty chunky ones, so I'm going to get three out of this. So there you go. That's how chunky I want them. So that's three there. And these ones here. Do I cut that in half? Yeah. I'm going to cut that one in two because that's the thinner end. And this one's got a nice thick chunky bit there. So I'm just going to cut that there. Cut that there. So I'm just going to pop them in that bowl. Move these over. Oh, that's hot. Right, so I don't do it the normal egg, uh, sorry, flour egg and breadcrumbs. What I do when I'm doing this is I make a bit of a batter and yes, I forgot an ingredient. 
a bit of mayonnaise. So the first thing I'm going to do is crack the egg into the bowl. It's funny because we got these eggs from um, Lidl's at the weekend and they're all white. Never ever seen that before. I mean I've bought them white eggs before, that's, you know, but I've never ever seen them in Lidl's. But anyway, I digress. And I don't know where my whiskey is. Oh, there it is. So what we want is about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. I am going to wing this. There we go. Some salt. Some pepper. Little bit of smoked paprika. There we go. And we want some cheese in here as well. That's enough put in there. Then we we'll just whisk this all together. And that's what we're going to dunk the fish fingers in first again and then we're going to have the breadcrumbs so i'm just going to put some breadcrumbs in there probably be enough for that amount of fish fingers and we're just going to reiterate some of the the flavorings in there as well see what I'm doing. A little bit of paprika, some salt, not a lot because I'm going to put some salt and pepper on the fish as well, some pepper and some more cheese. I know they're not like store-bought fish fingers but if you're going to go to the effort of making them yourself at home they're going to have to be the best fish fingers that you can actually get. I'm just going to use my hands, there we go, that's them already. So when it's time to do this, when it's time to bring the bread out, it's still got 12 minutes, I'll bring the bread out and you can have a look at that. Right, so the alarm's just gone off now for the bread. So I'm just going to take that out of the oven and we'll check it to make sure that it's cooked. Whoa, look at that guys clean tea towel <clears throat> just gonna um get one of these on just turn it out oh. just gonna move that to one side a second turn it over and you bang the bottom if it sounds hollow it's cooked so what we're going to do is, is I'm just going to leave it on this wire rack and let it cool down we will get rid of that because that's hot and then when I'm ready to do the sandwich we've got my bread easy as that I just spring in your back because I've literally just stopped filming and you can hear it just crackling as it's come out the oven. So I'm just going to be quiet for a second. It's that crispy. Right, so I've got some oil and some butter in the pan and I'm just going to nice warm that up on the bigger one I don't want the oil screaming hot because at the end of the day we need to cook the fish through so I'm just gonna put that off so what we need to do first is I've picked up a piece of fish so wash the hands I want the salt and pepper this fish Put 
season all the way through. Turn them over and the seasoning that's in the bowl. Sorry if you can hear that noise, somebody's getting the tyres changed out the back. So into the egg mixture. Into there. Always say try and keep one hand dry and one hand wet, but it never works out for me. It's easy enough just to wash your hands in between. Right, another bit of fish. To there, I'll put these ones back in and double dip them. We'll dip this one. And put that on. That one needs double dipped. Hey, that's three already. So I'm just going to pop them back in here. This is starting to, to warm up really nicely. I'm just going to turn these round so now that you can see that. And put these in here. want them on a gentle heat, want to cook the fish through and I'll just carry on and coat in the rest. Right so it's time to build, got all the fish fingers done there nicely. That one and that one I didn't have enough to double dip so they've just got one lot of coating on but the rest have got uh, the two lots of coating on so I do apologise I am right handed. Ian loves the crust. So he's going to get the crust on this one. Just pop that over to one side. Do you want butter on this or just the tubby ketchup? Butter. Butter. Thought you would. I asked. Homemade bread. I must admit it's our favourite. There we go. A little bit more. And then we will get the fish fingers in there. And maybe it's room for a little in. Right. Ketchup, yeah? Please. Bit of ketchup. I know it's not gourmet, but it is to us. There we go. I'm just going to use this knife. There we go. And look at that, guys. Fish finger sandwich. Does it get any better than that? Right, so, it's 
going to get Ian in and we'll do the taste testing time. Wowzers, man. This bread. Oh. Oh. Fish finger sandwich. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. That's like the best fish finger sandwich in the world. I'm not even kidding. That fresh bread makes it it's light, crispy, the fresh fish fingers homemade with a crunchy batter, Tommy ketchup, butter on. I've probably died and gone to heaven, that's lush. Just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of them sandwiches you never want to end. As soon as you're eating it, you're going to go, I want another one. That is just absolutely banging. Give the homemade fish fingers a go, guys. And the bread as well, because that bread is key. I know, normally when we have fish finger sandwiches, we do. We get the cheap doorstep. The bread. The doorstep was sliced white. And yeah, that's fantastic, but that makes a difference. The frozen fish fingers. They're lovely, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love them, but a homemade one every now and again. That is banging. Look, I mean, look at that. That fresh white fish there. Just, so it's thicker than a normal fish finger. Mm -hmm. So you're getting more mouthful, more of a mouthfeel, and the bread's just, oh, it's just, it just, just do it. Just make it, guys. It's fantastic. You've got to. So, I'm going to finish that off. So you don't want to watch me finishing that off because I'll be I'll, I'll be inhaling it. <laughs> so thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, thanks for commenting. Keep them all coming. Any suggestions? Keep them coming as well. Yeah, love it. Thank you very much. And England last night. Yes. Winner. Can't wait for Sunday night. But hey, I hope you're all looking forward to that as well. So we'll see you very soon, guys. See you later. Au revoir. Bye.